Previously on Making the Band. How's Paul doing as far as I see? I don't feel he's really pushed himself in developing any skills. You need to push a little more. Lou has just given us our record contracts. With this contract, we are tied up for the next 10 years of our life. Could end up awesome, it could end up I just need to really read that and have my lawyer read it to understand what it is that I'm getting into. So when you come back after this little break, you gotta have them sign. Definitely when we go home, we're gonna be nervous coming back because we're gonna know that's when they're gonna say who the five are gonna be. Did you sign her? Hell no. I was gonna say. Jacob called me. He's like, don't sign it, we got a lawyer to take care of it for us. I was like, all right, cool. Instead of coming back with our contracts all signed and ready to go, we found out that there are some very specific problems with the contract that are actually kind of scary. Royalty percentages being really low, things uh, about merchandising, who controls the songs that we write, just like a lot of stuff. Our lawyer told us that if we do make it and we are successful as a band and we achieve the fame and status, we won't be happy with the contract we've signed. He said, you most likely will come to me and say, why did you let me sign this? Yellow? Hey, what's happening? Oh, hey, how you doing, Lou? How was, how you doing? How was your vacation? Yeah, it was good. I had a really good time. How about you? Yeah, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Excellent. Excellent. I'm just trying to sort things out because some of the guys are not back yet. Yeah? Well, I just, I kind of, kind of wanted to talk to you for a little bit, so. Did you um, wait till tomorrow or do you want me to come tonight? Well, I mean, you know, if you could tonight, that's cool. If not, then, you know, we can wait till tomorrow if that's, if that's going to be best for you. Okay, maybe I should meet you in the studio. Can we talk then? Yeah, that would be great. You got it. I'll catch you mañana. All right, thanks, Lou. All right, my man. All right, have a good have one. Have a good one. You too. All right, bye. Bye. <laughs> and after I got off the phone, I asked him, I was like, well, what do you need to talk to Lou about? And he's like, oh, you might not like me after. And I was like, wait a minute. You could tell me, Paul. We go in the room a couple hours later, and I was like, so tell me, what do you have to call Lou about? And he like dropped his head, and uh, he's like, he's like, uh, I'm quitting. Shut the hell up. I'm sorry, man. Shut up. I'm not, I'm not, this is, You're this not is, really serious. Yeah, you? actually I am. Why? You can't quit. Why are you quitting? 4K, my friend, 4K, what? It's just not right for me right now. It's... Why do you say that? It's just not. God! What did these three days do to you? Well, well I don't understand. I got other things that I, th I feel like I should be doing at this moment. I mean, at this moment. This is the only moment you're going to have. Maybe. If he tells you, you know what, you can't leave because uh, you're it. What do you say? Like, uh, sorry, well, you're going to make a different decision. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't believe you're telling me this right now. Really? Would you rather me not tell you? I'd rather you change your damn mind. Oh! Why, man? Why? This is not where I need to be. I'm quit doing it. You quit, I quit. I quit. <laughs> Shut up. You're gonna change your mind. <sighs> I don't know, T. I don't know.
I don't know if I'm gonna get chosen or what, but I mean, if I do get chosen, I would like a decent contract. It all seems like a big game, man. It's just, I don't like people that are dishonest, you know what I mean? I like honesty. It seemed like I was gonna be making pretty decent money. It turns out that that money was divided by five, so. I could only support myself and maybe one or two other people with that money. I don't want to be anybody's slave. That's right. I'm starting to feel trapped and I don't like that feeling. And that's why I'm still here at home. Until I get something that I feel is good, I don't want to go anywhere. Just when it appeared that NSYNC's falling out with their former manager and record company would be marked by some degree of civility, well, this week happened. We are still friendly as can be, NSYNC, myself, and. We're tight, we're one family here. That's not quite the impression conveyed by the legal deposition filed this week by NSYNC's J.C. Chassez, describing their relationship with Perlman as, quote, a picture of an unscrupulous, greedy, and sophisticated businessman who posed as an unselfish, loving father figure and took advantage of our trust. They've made quite a bit of money each uh, from their record success. Perlman might think so, but the boys in the band feel a lot more is due to them. J.C. writes, we are painfully aware that our careers may be brief. However, we cannot work with people who have lied to us and taken advantage of us. And we will not be puppets on a string held by Lou Pearlman. Everyone's just pretty much bad-mouthing Lou Pearlman right now. Everyone is what? Bad-mouthing mm -hmm. Lou Pearlman right now. So like the, the whole, like, it's just a very sketchy situation, you know what I mean?